Right, well here I am back aft under the counter on the starboard side and there's a few things I'd just kind of like to show you here. First I want to just mention the keel again. You know, uh, the keel is sticking out past the boat here, past the stern post because it's going to have a couple pieces of dead wood uh, that go in here that are just ahead of the rudder. So, you know, it's going to get bobbed off right about here when the show is over and uh, like I said, it's, uh, it's one more project right there. We've got the material to put the dead wood in. We're going to have a video of cutting that on the bandsaw and placing it and fitting it and different things like that. So that's a, another video that's coming up. And, uh, you know, uh, this is pretty well, pretty solid back here. Like I said, it's got this laminated knee that sits down on top of the keel and it's bolted into the horn timber and uh, the bolting that you see here is just a temporary thing until the other pieces are put in so we use some iron or some ready rod to hold the floor timbers down to the keel and different things like that so those things will be replaced and uh, it's quite a bit of drilling and quite a bit of things that are going to go on back here you've got to drill a hole out for the shaft through the horn timber or through the stern post and then a hole up for the uh, rudder post and uh, you know so there's quite a bit of work going to go on back here you know the other thing I kind of want to show you here is uh, well here's one of the floor timbers like I said the plate style floor timber bolted to the side of the frames and of course this bolt right here bolts that down you know to the center line so it's it's pretty cool every one of these floor timbers have a tang on the bottom with the keel bolts or ballast bolts going through the floor timber like I said, the only difference is, is that uh, you can't fasten the planking into the floor timbers because the floor timbers are fiberglass, they're only a half an inch thick, you know, so the plastic holds the fastening so well we really have no need of anything like that. And, uh, you know, this is the strip planking I was talking about that uh, we progressive bevel sawed in the, uh, in the table saw which is kind of a whole new system. I'm going to show you how that's done, how you pick up the bevels and the necessity for it and all that kind of stuff. This is an example of the planking that we're putting on. This is a, the strip planking. It's five-eighths of an inch thick, you know, by an inch and three-quarters wide. And uh, it's got a nice scarf on the end here, about maybe four inches long, four and a half inches. And uh, we've got a machine all set up, a little bandsaw that cuts these scarfs. Right, so uh, each one of them is machine perfect, so they glue together, you know, longitudinally, really nice, and, uh, you know, it doesn't create a big lump or do anything like that. We don't have to touch it up with a plane or do anything like that. Comes out of the machine, and we glue them together, you know, and like I had said before, this stuff is progressively bevel sawn. You can see the bevels right here written on the frames, 2.5, 2.5, you know, and we're going to pick those up and put them on the strip you know, and then cut the strip in the, in the table saw to progressive bevel. So it's pretty cool. And, uh, you know, I think it's a system that hasn't been done before, you know. And then you, obviously you can see that we have room in the rabbit here for the next layer of planking, which is going to go on. That'll be seven eighths of an inch thick. So we got five eighths and seven eighths. It's planked an inch and a half thick. And uh, the original design was uh, an inch and a quarter, I believe. So, you know, we've, we've beefed it up and... Uh, We've beefed up the entire construction of the boat because we really want the boat to last. You know, we're not, we didn't want wooden floor timbers in it, and uh, we, we've done away with that. You know, we've come up with this new planking system that I, I have used before, but uh, it's going to be really, really great on a sailboat that has a lot of contortion involved in it, you know, when it's under sail. So this is really something else. And uh, you can see how nice and tight they fit together. Like in this area right here, it's pretty cool because all of this wood has got the same basic uh, grain in it. So when we put it together, I mean, you can't even see the seams here. Never mind, you can't see them. You can't even find them. You know, I'm looking for them right now. I can't find I can't even find them. So, you know, I know, you know, I knew it was going to come out that way. It's just a simple system and uh, it works fantastic. It saves time. It's easy to do. I think it's a system for people to build strip plank hulls just single layer would be a fantastic system for people that are unversed in Carvel plank and in some of the complexities of that type of construction you know this was originally designed so that I could get a large crew to put uh, planking onto a very large boat as fast as possible and they didn't have you know uh, all the uh, I, I didn't have the ability to teach everybody all about Carvel planking when I was doing it, so I came up with this system. And once I got working with the crew, 
you know, then I was able to teach them how to do the Carvel planking and all those kinds of things, and, and that's exactly what we're going to do here, because that system worked out so very well. Now, uh, you know, we're going to show you numbers of different things about the framing and all these things, like I said, there's quite a few videos still to go, and then we're obviously going to be doing some work and some live video work and, you know, all kinds of things are going to happen here, but... Uh, you know, um, the other thing I can say is I actually planed this out right here before the whole boat was planked. I kind of like doing that because, you know, it doesn't leave me a tremendous amount of work when it's done. We plank it up a little bit and I'll take a plane and I'll smooth this stuff out and it's kind of pleasing and it's, uh, you know, it's kind of a reward to see it come out looking like this. So, you know, it's been, it's, uh, it makes it kind of fun, you know, and you fill in in between conversations and talking and, and doing whatever you can do by picking up, you know, your planes and just doing a little bit of physical labor, you know, and, uh, you know, really that's kind of what I have to start doing right now because I got to get some of this plane and done. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you some of the planes I use. I'm not going to tell you all about it, but I've got four different planes there that I've been using to smooth this thing up and uh, you know I'm just gonna pick one up and start working so I gotta get it done and you know you have to be pretty enthusiastic or energetic about it so I'm gonna pick up a plane and move like Jagger now you can see the planking lines or the glue lines start to disappear as I get on close in this essence what I'm doing is hollowing this whole area right here because it's in an inside curve what they call a foot curve and uh, you know I'm planing it down until these glue lines just start to disappear that gives me my grade in this direction then I'll pick up another plane and work it in other ways and I'm going to show you all about the planes and how to use them and different things like that. Doesn't that look nice? That's it.